Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What assets go through probate? When a person passes away, not all of their assets necessarily go through the probate process. To understand which assets do, let's break it down. Assets titled in the decedent's sole name. Assets that are titled in the deceased person's name only, without any joint ownership or beneficiary designations, typically go through probate. This includes real estate, bank accounts, investments, stocks, bonds, vehicles, and business interests. Real estate and residences. If the deceased is the sole owner of a house or real estate, the property will need to go through probate to settle any outstanding liens or taxes and to determine who will inherit it. However, if the property is jointly owned with a right of survivorship, it will automatically pass to the surviving owner without needing probate. Bank accounts and financial assets. Bank accounts, including checking, savings, and certificates of deposit, will go through probate if there is no payable on death, POD, designation. Similarly, life insurance policies and retirement accounts without valid beneficiary designations will also be subject to probate. Personal property and household items. Personal property such as furniture, clothing, art, jewelry, and other household items are considered probate assets if they do not have an explicit or individual title. These items will be distributed by the executor of the estate according to the will or state laws. Vehicles. Cars, boats, and airplanes owned solely by the deceased will go through probate. However, vehicles registered in a transfer on death form can avoid probate. Jointly owned assets. Jointly owned assets with a right of survivorship such as joint tenancy will not go through probate. The ownership of these assets is transferred immediately to the surviving owner upon the death of the other owner. However, assets owned as tenants in common will need to go through probate to distribute the deceased share according to their will or state laws. Assets with beneficiary designations. Assets that have valid beneficiary designations, such as life insurance policies, IRAs, retirement plans, and some bank accounts with P-Odd designations, do not go through probate. These assets are paid directly to the named beneficiaries. Trust assets. Assets held in a living trust, such as a revocable living trust, avoid probate. However, assets left out of the living trust or those in a testamentary trust, a trust created by a will, will need to go through probate. State-specific requirements. The need for probate can vary by state, depending on the size of the estate and the types of assets involved. For example, in California, an estate with total probate assets valued at less than $150,000 can avoid probate. In Texas, if the value of the estate is less than $75,000, probate may be skipped. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.